I woke up today with news of Facebook and Ray-Ban collaborating on new smart glasses. These shades have cameras, speakers, so naturally... Hey Facebook, take a photo. Good day you beautiful people. Welcome to Isada's Tech where we do tech in your life in style. And what a stylish video we have for today. We are checking out the new Ray-Ban stories. These are Facebook's first smart glasses and color me intrigued. Let's turn back the clock a little bit and unbox these babies. I wasn't kidding when I said that we rushed to the Ray-Ban store when I found out that these glasses were dropping today. And as you can see, I was pretty excited so I couldn't wait to get to the studio to unbox. At the location we went to, there were three different styles. You had Wayfarers, you had round ones, and you also had the Meteors. There were also different colors and you could opt for transition lenses or even put in your prescription though that would take a little bit more time so I opted for the basic shape. Shades. Each pair comes with a leather case that doubles as a charging dock, paperwork, you have another fabric case, and also you have the USB-C charging cord. These are Facebook smart glasses, but again, these are also Ray-Ban, so it follows that they look very, very good. I was honestly taking a while picking between Meteor and Wayfarers, but ultimately I went for this more classic look. And despite all that time deciding, I was still the very first Ray-Ban story sale this Ray-Ban store had. <laughs> I told you we rushed. This pair sits perfectly on my face, and I don't think anyone would know these were smart glasses until I tell them they are. I'd say that definitely the sides are thicker, but they're not so heavy. Also, I've been wearing the Huawei Gentle Monster Smart Glasses, so this isn't really new to me. Joshua, on the other hand, got the same Wayfarer style in a different color and with transition lenses because he wants to be wearing them even indoors, and yeah, it looks good on him. Mm, nice. So like I said, these have cameras built in. Two sides of these glasses are the cameras and they're very discreet. You can shoot photos or videos with these and you can just press. And while you're shooting, it'll actually light up that little dot at the corner there to indicate that you are shooting. There's also an indicator light at the inner side that will light up when you're shooting so you know you're actually rolling. Or you can just go, Hey Facebook, take a video. Yeah, this is video shot via these glasses. So when you do that hey Facebook prompt, it does a little sound that signals that you can give a command. I will say that it's pretty useful for hands-free use, but at the same time, it gets a little bit of getting used to. I've been saying, hey Google, shoot a video when it should be hey Facebook. And not to mention how awkward and weird it can get when, for example, I'm walking by myself and I randomly bust out a hey Facebook, shoot a video, you know? Hmm. Hey Facebook, take a photo. Hey Facebook, take a photo. Hey Facebook, take a photo. Yeah. Hey Facebook, <laughs> take a photo. Better have taken that photo. <laughs> So this is me walking and talking. Can it see my hands? What is the point of view? How far can you see? If I'm like down here, I'm as far as my hands can reach. He's just embarrassed of me because I keep on saying hey Facebook Pretty when much. I'm talking to any when I'm not talking to anyone. <laughs> Why that? Hey Facebook. Take a photo. Hey Facebook, take a photo. I gotta remember that the glasses are basically where the cameras are at, so if I want non-shaky video, I need a non-shaky head. <laughs> And though as I've just learned, walking and talking and keeping your head still takes a little bit of getting used to. Stabilization is already very good on these glasses and walking around and shooting gives you very usable footage. 
by default these shades give you square 30 second clips so you could just stop recording at any time earlier than 30 seconds after copying these shades we walked around a whole lot and took a lot of photos and videos and i have to say i'm pretty impressed with the results thus far these glasses connect to your phone via the facebook view app which we'll talk about in a hot second but it's also just very convenient that it automatically downloads footage to your phone and you can share the footage on any other app that you wish so i'm shooting with the smart glasses right now don't believe me hi and yeah another notable thing as you just heard that audio from the glasses it's pretty good the contact point for charging these glasses are over here and to start there is a teeny button on the stem and this is where you turn the glasses on push to the side and hold to enter pairing mode for the first time indicator light lights up and the different colors on there mean different things setup is quite easy the facebook view app will walk you through everything and it'll even tell you the features of the smart glasses so you can adjust volume take calls notification LD so right now I can actually see this on the side of my eye it's not as um, distracting so that's cool done next mm, don't share navigate to Huntington Gardens done this app is where you'll find everything you've ever shot and if you take a photo with your glasses you'll find them directly on here Let's do that again. Hi! So as you can see, it immediately shows up here and from the app, you can send that clip anywhere. You can download it to your phone. You can edit it so you can trim your video. You can adjust all the different settings. You can enhance and you can even crop so you can do landscape or portrait which is extra useful because like I told you this thing shoots in squares. Another cool feature on here is creating montages so you can string together different clips and it'll give you an edit. On the other side here, you have favorites and up here, it tells you your battery levels, your general settings, your Facebook assistant settings, system alerts, privacy settings, and you have help and support. It's a pretty straightforward app and I personally like that they didn't make all the clips automatically forward to the Facebook app itself. Like I know it's still Facebook, but at least it's a different app. And from here, it's pretty easy to post it on other social media because let's be honest, we're all gonna be posting all of these things on other social media platforms. Now, as I was running around this afternoon, I did get this warning. It was 100 degrees out and I was really putting this to the test because I was all excited over shooting photos and videos. I got the your glasses are too hot to do anything prompt, but I mean, let me tell you, they're not hot on my face. So we all good. Another funny thing that happened as I was shooting, I did run out of battery both on my phone and on the glasses. Don't ask, I didn't really charge. But what's cool is that even if I don't connect the glasses to the phone, it can still take photos and or videos. Oh, it works even if it's not connected to my actual phone. That's pretty cool. Which will transfer when you eventually connect your shades to your phone. There are built-in speakers on the stem of these glasses. This whole area also serves as your control. Tap once to play or pause the music. You can also swipe to adjust volume. Listen to this. So as you can hear, it's not exactly closed off to you. Okay, so Joshua's listening to music right now and I am this near. <laughs> I can and start to hear it. I think it's at like 65% volume. Yeah, and I can hear it. So it's definitely not one of those pairs where you sort of like listen and it's only you who can hear, yeah? And yeah, there are other gesture features. You can double tap to skip forward, triple tap to go back. And also, of course, this works for calls. So you can take calls with your glasses. You can tap to answer, tap to end, or tap and hold to reject a call. I gotta say as early as day one, I'm pretty impressed, especially because when all is said and done and you run out of battery as you tend to do when you run around and try to shoot everything in sight. Hey Facebook, 
Take a photo. So I have run out of battery, but the thing is, and I think this is the best thing about these glasses, and in general, smart glasses that look good, is that they work perfectly as just sunglasses. The only other tech-powered glasses that I felt similar about in terms of looks were the Huawei Gentle Monsters. This is a pair that I could just wear because of how light they were, even on days when I didn't think I'd use the tech part. But even then, the Huawei Gentle Monsters only have speakers in them and no cameras. As someone who's always pushed for good-looking and stylish gadgets, and solely from a tech perspective, I am rooting for these glasses. Tech and style are very hard to balance. The Ray-Ban story have the most tech functionality and style of any glasses I've seen in the market thus far. And that was our look at the new Ray-Ban stories. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.